Another useful string function is space. You've seen some examples where we've taken first name and last name and in the middle concatenated on a single space between them. How about if you don't know how many spaces you want or you want to put in a large number of spaces more than just one? Well, you have a choice. You could just concatenate in some literal value here and count out the number of spaces, all right? But you also have this space function, which will automatically add the number of spaces that you specify. And what's useful here, of course, is that you don't have to simply put a constant value between the parentheses as the argument to space. You could put something like the length of the field minus some other value, that kind of thing, or maybe using char index to find the first space and insert a certain number of spaces. So very often when you need to pad out values, that's where this space function comes in handy. And you may need to calculate the number of spaces required on the fly. Char is simply going to convert to a character whatever number you feed in. And these numbers are the numbers in the regular ASCII or ANSI character set. So it so happens here that we're feeding in the number 71, which is the ANSI or ASCII value for G, the capital G. If you need to translate from a numeric ASCII value into a character, you can use char. If you need to go in the other direction and find out what is the ASCII number corresponding to a particular character, this is how you do it. Just use that ASCII function, feed it in the character that you want, and here it'll tell us that the value is 71. You may want to capitalize all of the letters in a particular set of text or lowercase all of the letters. And you can do that using the upper and lower built-in string functions. So here, we've taken and either capitalized everything, as we show here, or lowercased everything, as we show here. This is something that's going to allow you to do comparisons if you're in a situation where you may have mixed case, and if your database is set to use case sensitivity. The default in SQL Server is for comparisons between text to not be case sensitive, but there are ways in SQL Server of setting case sensitivity as part of the collation. And if you have case sensitivity and you need to sort of equalize everything, one way to do that is just to make everything uppercase or lowercase. Notice that the numeric digits 12, the 1 and the 2, we're not affected. It's not like we're changing one to exclamation point and two to an at sign. It will simply ignore non-text characters when you run upper or lower. You're also sometimes going to get in data. We talked earlier about padding data with spaces using space. Sometimes data will come into you with spaces that you need to get rid of. And there are two functions that allow you to do that. L trim removes all the spaces on the left side of your text. R trim removes all the spaces on the right side of your text. There is no function built into SQL Server for removing all the spaces, whether they be on the right or left side of the text. And so here we've shown you how you can do that, create a trim function of your own, so to speak, by combining R trim, first we'll trim off everything on the right, with L trim. We'll then take the results of that R trim feed it into L trim, and what we'll end up with is something that has no spaces either leading or trailing before or after the other characters in the strings.